Friends, <laughs> what a special time to be alive, my friends. Welcome aboard, everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you, first and foremost, for taking the time out of your busy schedules to come and hang out with me on a off day, if you will. Uh, this is not a normal live stream for me. I am usually not streaming on Tuesday uh, afternoon. So thank you guys very, very much for coming to hang out with me. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Um, I've got some camera angles set up for you guys. I'm gonna be able to show you guys some really, really, <laughs> really, really cool. I hope you guys have your nerd hats on because we are about to nerd out to a level that I don't think we've seen on this channel before. Um, sitting in front of me right now, I am looking at a fully lit <laughs> uh, MCDU, whatever you wanna call it, FMC, FMGS, FMS, whatever you want to call it, MDU. My goodness me, friends, it is absolutely crazy. I am so, so, so excited and, and honestly, more so a little bit honored that I get to share, that I get to showcase this with you guys. I get to be one of the first people, um, you know, that that is a content creator that has this in hand, is using it in the sim. So um, without further ado, um, Danny, thanks so much, dude, for jumping up into business class. Really do appreciate that, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we've got an FMC cam for you guys today. So I did my best to try and figure out exactly um, what would be the best positioning for, for the cameras. Unfortunately, no matter how you go at it, something that I'm going to be importing using my hands throughout the entire flight um, is going to be a little bit hard for me to showcase. So uh, we do have a camera angle. Uh, let me know if it's too big. Let me know if it's too small. We can obviously continue to work on it. I can do some things. Um, so guys, uh, I am super, super excited and uh, <laughs> just nerding the hell out right now at the fact that you guys get to uh, enjoy this with me right now. So here we go, guys. Um, here it is in all of its glory. The beautiful FMC, uh, whatever you want to call it. Let me know if you guys can't see it. I can obviously turn down the brightness a little bit. That may be a little bit easier for you guys to see. Um, I will do my best to try and show you guys um, exactly how it looks, what it does, what we can do, what we can see on it. Um, I can also probably at some point maybe move the camera angle if you guys would like to see it on a different camera angle. But this is the best camera angle that I've found that will allow me to still manipulate the controls and um, allow you guys to still um, be able to witness everything that I'm doing and see everything that we are doing. So um, welcome, friends. Thank you guys for taking the time, again, out of your busy schedules to come and hang out with me. This is just something that is so, so, so cool. Um, as far as cameras go, this is, the, I think, the best camera that we're going to have as far as um, having it there and being able for you guys to see everything. Um, so uh, again, uh, here we go, friends. Hopefully you guys can still see the screen. It still looks good on my screen. It looks like you guys can still see everything fine. Hopefully the camera is not going to be popping in and out of autofocus, but we'll do our best. Um, cool. You would turn off autofocus. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think it's, I don't think I can do that without, um, uh, let me see. Let me go to properties. I don't think I can turn off the autofocus. Um without like actually going into the camera settings. So yeah, unfortunately not. Fortunately, we're just gonna have to keep it like that. Um, hopefully uh, hopefully it's not. I like it, uh, it is very nice. It'll be nice if we can get an over the shoulder, get a nice shot of your legs too, maybe. <laughs> Alex, you're out of control, man. Thank you, dude, appreciate you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, friends, well, here we go, here we are. Uh, let's not waste any time. We've, we're doing a flight today. We're going up to Cardiff. Uh, I'm not gonna be flying online. We're just gonna do this leg offline because I really want the entire stream to be about this FMC. I don't want it to be about any shenanigans that happens online or on VATSIM or anybody thinking that they're gonna be smart or funny when we're doing one of these streams, so we're just gonna be doing this. So, um, friends, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Um, I, again, super excited that we have this, super excited that I, I'm able to showcase this for you guys. Um, <laughs> I mean, dude, what you, the cool factor is just absolutely out of this world. Cool factor is out of this world. Um, so friends, let's go ahead and jump inside the cockpit. Let's get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll. We're heading into Cardiff. It's about a two and a half hour flight. Um, should give us lots of options and lots of things to program here on our FMC. Um, 
super excited for this one, friend. So without further ado, let's jump inside the cockpit. Beautiful. First thing is first, uh, I'm just going to turn off uh, X camera. I'm going to make sure that that's disabled uh, just for now. Um, cool. Sweet. Welcome aboard, friends. Um, first thing is first. So as you can see, uh, the FMC is pretty much sitting exactly like that. So you can see that they're a carbon copy of one another. Uh, if you really were, are curious and you really want to see, like we can put in like, um, you know, we can put in like, hi, hello. And you can see how instant it is in the sim and on the FMC. It is uh, identical. There is absolutely no delay from me pressing hello stream. There is no delay from me saying that and to me typing that and then giving that to you. So um, absolutely insane. You hold it, it deletes it all in one. <laughs> I mean, dude, this is this is on a different level, man. This is this is so goddamn cool. I never thought we would be getting something like this, let alone we'd be getting something like this so soon. Um, this is insane. This is absolutely bananas. Okay, cool. First thing is first. Let's go to our electronic flight bag. Let's start our flight leg. We're going to go to weight, fuel, and balance. We're going to go over here uh, on our fuel for today's flight. Um, we need 8.1 on the fuel. So we're going to go to fuel. We're going to put an 8.1. Beautiful. Um, for our payload weight today, uh, we need... What do we need on our payload weight? We need... Um, we're looking at about 16, um, yeah, about 16 is good, 16, 16,000, we'll put 16 and we'll enter that, no, 16.0, thank you, and then we'll come back here, that should give us a zero fuel weight of 59.1, 59.3, we'll see what it gives us here, should be around there, 59. Fifty-nine one, cool, sweet. So, with all of that, do you guys want me to come down here on the FMC um, chat? Is this something that you guys want? Do you guys want me to go down to the FMC while I'm manipulating it on here, or are you guys okay with me just staying in this view and manipulating on this? Or do you guys want to see the real-time interactions down here um, on this one? It's up to you guys. I really don't mind. Um, we can do either or. It, it doesn't matter. Um, I think it would just be easier to uh, maybe just be over here and doing stuff like that. So, uh, okay, let's go to our overhead. Let's continue on some flows up here. We're going to get our fuel pumps uh, off. We'll just get our uh, aft pump on because that's what's going to be on the EPU. Uh, we'll get some panel brightness. Good. Um, everything else looks good here. We'll continue down here. Wonderful. Looks good. Uh, Seatbelt sign on. Chime can go on as well. Uh, engine starter switches to both. Good. Uh, window heat is on. Elex are good as well. Beautiful. Everything looks good. Let's get our trim air on. We're going to get our packs to the off position. Engine bleeds off. APU bleed is off. Iso valve goes to open. Uh, cruise altitude this afternoon is going to be 34,000 feet. We're going to punch in 34,000 here. That FMC is looking really good. Mr. Bearded I hope Yeti. You, Daisy, and the girlfriend are all doing well. Yes, thank you, my friend. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very, very much for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you want me to show the Sim FMC as well? Okay, cool. So we've got all that plugged in. Looks good. We'll get our logo lights on. Good, cool. Um, so you guys want to see that. So let's come down here. First thing is first, I'll show you my mouse. We'll move our mouse completely off so you guys see that I'm not doing anything. Um, so, I mean, first thing is first, what are you going to do? You're going to hit your route page, right? Boom, there's my route page. Um, my origin airport today is LEBL. We're sitting down on the ground in uh, Barcelona. We'll go ahead and fill that in up top left. Um, we are going over to, um, where the hell are we going again? Uh, Cardiff, EGFF, EGFF. We'll go ahead and throw that guy in there. Beautiful. And we'll go ahead and execute that. You see the execute light uh, even lights up as well. Um, absolutely insane. So now that we've got that in there, we've got our flight number today, which is going to be Ryanair, R-Y-R, uh, 3462. And we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Wonderful. Now that we've got all of that set, Let's go over to our NITREF page, and we're going to punch in some information here. Um, so, you can see that we've got our zero fuel weight of 59.1. Um, we're going to have a plan fuel today of... Uh, what are we going to burn? I think we're going to burn about 6.1. So, I'll plug that in, and I'm going to chuck that in right up top here. 6.1 uh, on the reserves. I'm going to have two. We'll throw that in there. Uh, we'll leave our cost index blank for now. So, that page looks good like that. I'm happy with that. Let's go to our departure and arrival pages. Um, we'll go ahead and hit up top here, LEBL departures. So, uh, we are planning the Nat P1 Delta departure. So go ahead and scroll over here. We'll look for that Nat P1 Delta. Um, 
Lots and lots and lots of options. Nat P1 Delta, I just saw it right there. Nat P1 Delta out of runway 25 route. We'll go ra ra route, activate, and of course our execute button will light up. We'll go ahead and select that. Beautiful. So now that we've got that, we'll go to our route page. We'll go to next page. Beautiful, that takes me to Nat P. From Nat P, we're going from Uniform Tango 210. It's gonna be on the left side because that is an airway. We're gonna be going uh, over to Evnam. Ev Nam, beautiful. From Evnam, we're gonna be going direct to Uniform Yankee 115. Uniform Yankee 115. And I don't know if, can you guys hear the, I'll try and bring my mic down here a little bit lower for you. I don't know if you, can you guys hear the tactile response from the actual FMC itself? I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. I know you can probably hear it inside the sim, but it is just, oh, it is so satisfying to press these buttons. And I'm not just saying that. You guys knew it. As soon as I opened the box yesterday, it's the first thing I went to. And I said, oh my goodness, just this is absolutely insane. So we're going from uh, Uniform November 863 over to Manic. And for those of you that are wondering about the text, um, this is this is Boeing text. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, obviously you guys can see the screen properly, but um, this is Boeing text. This is not uh, this is not like its own little font. This is nothing. Thought Becca, Jake. we'd join you for the After Dark stream. Thank you we for the support. We never miss a stream with you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, man. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel. I really, really do appreciate that. Um, thank you, Becca and Jake. Appreciate that. Um, so from Manic, we're going to be over to... Actually, we'll execute that. Uh, and then from Manic, we're going to be to Ogoto. Ogoto. Or Ogoto, sorry. And we'll go ahead and throw that in there. We'll execute that. From Ogoto, we're going to be direct to Nenik. So it's going to be November Echo, November India Kilo. All right. And then from Nenik, direct to Basic. All right. From Basic, direct to Salco. All right. And from Salco, we'll be jumping on some airways again. Uniform November 864. Over to Brava. Bravo Hotel Delta. And we'll execute that. And then we're going to be jumping on our arrival. Uh, EGFF arrival. We're going to be planning for the uh, Charlie Delta Foxtrot 3 Delta. Charlie Delta Foxtrot 3 Delta. Uh, we're going to expect the... Not quite sure. Let me just pull up my charts here briefly. We're going to see if we're going to expect the... Um, Yankee or Zulu ILS today. Uh, what's the difference? Okay, doesn't matter. So we'll just take the Zulu. So we'll check the ILS uh, Zulu runway 30, and we'll go ahead and we want our glide slope on. Uh, obviously, you can see that that I don't know if you guys can see it actually hey, Kat, lights up in just green came as to well. Stop by. Hope you hey. have a good flight. Thanks so much, Snaps. Appreciate you, man. Dropping the 15 bomb. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you very, very much for support. I really, really do appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. And Aviator Joe, thank you very much. Coming over the Euro as well. I appreciate you. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that it's lighting up as a different color um, on the screen? I hope you guys can see that that on right here. If I if I actually block out some of the sun, you guys can see that that's an actual green. So they are, it is colored. What a content man. Is, oh, Glad man. I've become a member. <laughs> thank you, dude. I appreciate you, man. Thank you very, very much for support, buddy. That is very, very kind. Thank you, man. All right, so we'll go ahead and execute that. Beautiful. Let's go over to our legs page now. We're going to scroll through our flight plan. You can see we've got one of seven up top here. So we'll scroll through here. And yes, that is in magenta. Um, that is the magenta. You see that you do see it pop up in magenta. Um, so it's got magenta. It's got green. It's got the white. So it, it's a full colored, full colored screen as well uh, for anybody that was wondering. Full colored screen. Um, so we'll continue. We'll take a look here. Make sure we don't have any crazy discounts, which we do not. Beautiful. Looking good. Absolutely awesome. Cool. Everything looks good there, friends. I'm happy. Let's go back to our NITREF page now. Uh, 59.1 on the zero fuel to set. We've got 2.0 on the reserves. Our initial cost index today is going to be 15. We're going to be going with a cruise level of 340. We'll populate that up top on the top right. Cruise wins on today's flight are average wins. Uh, pardon me, that's what I usually put in. That will be 267 at 26. 267 slash 26. We'll populate that guy. We have an ISA deviation today of minus 3. 
We'll populate that guy as well. We do have a transition altitude of 6,000 feet. So that is all good. I will execute that page. This is insufficient fuel. Don't worry about that. We're fine. Uh, let's go to our N1 limits here today. Um, out of Barcelona, we will be doing a D-rated takeoff of 94.6, as well as a D-rated climb. That looks good. We're going to take off. Flaps are going to be set 5 degrees. We're going to populate our CG weight here, which will be 28%, which gives me a trim value of 4.75. We can then select our V-speeds here on the right-hand side. V1, 139. VR, 140. V2, 148. And that gives me my gross weights and our toe as well popping up on there. And that's it, friends. We're pretty much good on that page. We're pretty much good on the FMC, FMS. <laughs> I literally cannot believe. Um, it is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Um, and for those of you wondering, I do have... The way that I have it set up right now is I've got my yoke, I have my FMC, I've got my radio stack right above it, and I've got my throttles right here, which I can still access with the camera here. And that's another reason why this camera angle just makes so much sense. Um, so yeah, there you go. If I try and put it, when I did some tests yesterday and I had the camera angle pointing directly, you basically just saw my hand the entire time. So at least on this angle, it's allowing you to see me uh, manually put stuff in and select things. So um, sweet, cool. Now that that looks good, now that we've got that all set up, we can go ahead and pop upstairs here. And we'll go ahead and fire up our APU. One, two, and three. Beautiful. We'll let the APU do its thing. Everything else is pretty much set up. Um, we can go ahead and go Metar. Loving that Boeing panel, Captain. Gary, thanks, man. Appreciate you, dude. As am I, my friend. As am I. And uh, guys, for everybody that's like curious, everybody that wants to buy this, um, the website will be up the first week of May. Um, I will have an affiliate link for you guys as well. So there's, I mean, you can email them and speak to them if you really want right now. Um, but uh, I would just, just give it about a week. Everything's going to be up and running. You're going to be able to order yours. Um, it's not like this is going to be something that nobody can buy. Um, it's, it will be readily available probably by next week. I'm not quite sure what stock will be like. I don't know how many um, of you are planning to buy something like this. So... Um, yeah, it's just gonna really, really, really depend on a lot of things, so. You need an overhead panel. Oh, man, don't even tell me, dude. Don't even start, man. Don't even start, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Alright, so our altimeter is 1006. We'll go ahead and plug that in here. 1006. Good. Um, we're flying offline today, so we can just take our initial climb. We can just go all the way up to 340. Good, we've got our uh, runway, uh, sorry, we've got our speed 148, which matches down here, 148. Beautiful, cool, so let's go to the overhead. APU is on and available. Let's grab our APU generator, APU bleed can come on. Let's get this god awful music stopped. Let's go push back, yeah, let's go. I have no clue if this is where Ryanair parks either. I'm sorry about that, I just loaded in and I was so excited and I was like, let's go. Let's go. We'll wait for you to durability test. I mean, well, that's the thing, right? That's the thing, dude, is is this is a brand new project, right? This is, nobody has this. I, I'm the only one. I'm one of the only people that, that has this in my hands and I'm using it in my sim. So um, am I taking a little bit of a risk by putting my name out there? Absolutely, Alex, yes, absolutely. Um, but I think that's totally worth it. When I spoke to Alan and when I spoke to the people that were, were involved with with the project, I, I basically kind of was just like, this needs to be something that I need to be a part of. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is, I feel like this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity that's going to come up as far as something this cool, this unique, and, and, and just this easy to like plug and play and just go, you know? So. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. All right. He's connecting. Let's get our anti-collision light on. That's going to seat everybody down in the back. We'll get the rest of our fuel pumps on. We are on APU generators. We do have APU bleed on, so we can come down here and we can go ahead and um, disconnect the GPU. And if we go outside and take a look, you can see that the GPU is disconnected. Flying with Vatsim. Nope, we're flying offline today, man. When's it going to be released? We're not sure. Uh, the first week of May is what I've been told. So, yeah. 
Self connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Park brake's released. Starting pushback and you may start in use. Thank you. All right, cool. So if we go to our overhead, we see that our uh, APU bleed is on, ISO valve is open, packs are off, engine bleeds are off. That is all good. Um, wonderful. Let's go ahead and fire up engine numero two to ground. And we'll come down here and we'll look for N2 percentage. Start valve open. And at 25%, we'll introduce fuel. Fuel. Flight Sim Life, how are you, man? Good to see you, dude. Appreciate you stopping by. We've got engine number two stabilized, looking good. Park brake is set. Disconnecting to stand by. Wonderful. Engine number one to ground. Is the FMC heavy? 500 grams. I don't know what that is. Two pounds? So no. And again, 25%. And we'll introduce fuel. We'll work with MS-2020 with some Boeing aircraft when they come out. Yes, it will. Not right Ryan now. Ryanair again, Captain. You got After it. After the wild rides yesterday, the last sky waitress dislocated my nose. <laughs> Thanks for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, man. Very kind. I have no clue, Casper. All right. Two good engines. Engine gen left side, right side. Engine bleeds on. APU bleed off. Packs auto. ISO valve auto, probe heat can come on, APU can go off, engine mode selectors to continuous, we'll set our flaps. If asked and answered, I apologize, was wondering how the setup was, time and effort, etc. Uh, how the, uh, how it was? Dude, two seconds. <laughs> I literally received it and I sent them an email saying that I had it. They sent me, they had a, a software package that was like packaged up. We they sent like me the software, I ran the software, it took all of about 10 seconds to download and install, and that was it, man. I plugged it in, I loaded up into the sim, and everything was working. I didn't have to direct it anywhere, it found my X-Plane installation, 
It found all the X-Plane aircraft that it would work with. It even looked for all the P3D FSX aircraft that it would have worked with. It, it literally did everything by itself. I ran the installer, waited, like I said, 10, 15 seconds. It did everything on its own. Boom, done. It was the easiest, easiest thing I've ever done. Zero effort, zero, zero. Uh, I was pretty amazed, man. I'm pretty... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome aboard Ryanair Flight yeah, 3462 with service to Cardiff. We ask you to pay attention to our safety instructions. Yes. Just kidding. You can purchase safety measures such as life vests or seat belts by going to our website now. <laughs> Is that true Ryanair fashion? Is that how that works? Park breaks off. We're looking good here, friends. Let's do it. Taxi ourselves over to 25 right for departure. All right, how are we coming out of here? Where are we going? We're going to go out here, we're going to take a left. Cool. Is the FMC on Amazon? No. No, it's going to be, it's going to be released, I believe, through their website. And I said their website will be, website will be up and available first week of May. Yeah, I don't know about that, Gary. I don't know, man. The one thing, like I said, um, the one thing that I'm thankful for is I, 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 do you see how little clearance I have? Like we're talking like maybe three, four millimeters clearance between my yoke making a full bank. Now, to be fair, when the hell are you ever gonna full bank? Well, I mean, unless you fly with us yesterday. <laughs> that was sketchy as hell. Yesterday's flights was sketchy. But yeah, that would be the plan, right? Cap, would it work on like a seven five seven six triple seven or only seven thirty seven? Um, so right now it only so right now in X plane it only works on the Zebo and the IXEG seven thirty seven. I believe for FSX and P3D, it works for um, the, all of the, I think it works for the 777, PMDG 777, 737, and 747, I believe is what it works for on P3D FSX. So it works for both sims. Any reason for no VAT sim today? I'm just doing a product, just doing a product uh, showcase. Some people take that as an opportunity to be extra dickish not just speaking the truth you know what i mean some people will literally go out of their way to be extra stupid because they know that i'm doing a product uh demonstration or i'm you know so that's just the main reason man just kind of uh just kind of making sure that doesn't happen cap mclaren that's it man we'll be back on uh, we'll be back on thursday just didn't want this to be like this today we promise no shaky shaky of uh my bottled water how's the on route weather yeah i don't know john not sure, man. Probably get some shaky shakies. Can you use it for the Airbus? You cannot. No, this is a Boeing style FMC, CDU, FMC, FMU, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do believe, I do believe, now don't, don't hold me to it. Um, but I do believe in my in my speaking with them, and my understanding is that we are getting an Airbus version of one of these as well. We will be getting an MCDU. A McDo! So, there's that. Keep that in mind. Alright, let's make a right turn on Mike. Sorry guys, I don't have track IR plugged in today, because I don't have my... Uh, I don't have my back patio window closed. You gotta keep it open, it's pretty warm here today. All right, we're leaving the ramp ray. Let's get all that stuff on. Let's arm our flight directors. Let's go with uh, auto throttle armed. We're gonna go VNAV, we're gonna go LNAV.
Melu, no worries, man. Um, it's not available yet, Music for All. Um, this, the website is, is literally will be up like within the next week or so. That's how new of a product this is, man. It, this is this is so so new of a product that they're they're literally in design, um, like they're mid design. Everything will be up. You can go to their website, cockpitmasters.com. You can go to the website, cockpitmasters.com, and I'm pretty sure it's just going to tell you that, hey, uh, we'll be open, you know, first week of May. <coughs> Pardon me. Has anybody told that you look handsome today? Why, thank you. Appreciate you. As it stands right now, and as I am aware, I am the only person that has this. Yeah, that's how new of a product this is. I do not believe that other content creators, unless they've already reached out to them, and at least they, I have no clue. I have no clue, man. Any pricing yet? Um, I, I know speculated prices. I don't know confirmed prices yet. Um, the speculated prices were 799 USD. That is the speculated price. I, I, I'm not, I cannot confirm that. I cannot, I also cannot deny that. I just don't know. I, 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 from what I've seen and from what I've heard everybody else speaking about, again, this is not confirmed. I do not have this in writing from them that says, hey, um, this is what we have. You know, this is how much it's going to be. I don't have any of that information yet. I, 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 don't, I don't have any of that information yet. So, um, now, when I, when they gave me the information and when, when we, when I decided to work with the company about this and, and, and with this on the product, um, it was, um, we speculated um, of a price between, I said between, six hundred and eight hundred dollars that was my predicted and i think a lot of chat agreed with me as well so yeah uh, alex Now, I'm not really sure what everybody thinks the price of something like this is going to be. Obviously, everybody's got uh, obviously everybody's got their own opinion of what they think it's going to cost and stuff. Um, may I also remind you guys that there is there's really nothing like this on the market. All right, so this is this is this is one of a kind. So um, right then and there, yes, it's going to be very niche, right? I think flight sim in general is going to be niche, and, and when you start getting into like you know, FMCs and FMGs and stuff like that. I think we're getting even into an even more niche market. Um, but yeah, I, um, I, I also, I also feel like, I also feel like we need to reiterate the fact that like, I didn't have to do anything. I literally plugged this in and it worked. Um, whereas I know that the only other option that's available right now, as far as like a Boeing FMG is like, requires a stupid amount of, of back-end logic and stuff going on behind the scenes in order for it to work properly using X-Plane. And even then, it only works with the Zebo mod. Um, so, again, if you buy this right now, out of the box, right now, if you were to buy this going home, it works with the Zebo mod 737, the IXEG 733 Classic. It works with the PMDG 737. It works with the PMDG 777, and it works with the PMDG 747. So right off the bat, let's not forget that, guys. Let's just think about that, okay? Right off the bat, you're basically getting five FMCs in one, okay? Let's say if you're a P3D flyer, you're an FSX flyer, you have all that, you know? Um, the benefit is there, plus it's, it's an open software. Right, so um, it's it's going to be available for upgrade. There, there's, there's, they're going to be adding stuff to it. You know what I mean? Okay, so secured. that's Have not to flight. say that it's only going to ever work with the Zebo and the IXEG. Who knows, man? It, it may work with other with other things in 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 the future. So there, there's things that you have to think about. So you also have to incorporate when it comes down to price about the software that we're getting here as well, guys. Again, I can't reiterate enough the fact that I plugged it in and it was working. You know what I mean? So you also have to consider those things. Okay, let's go, friends. On our way to Cardiff. Throttles to 40. Looking good. Chrono on. Toga. Let's go. 
Big up power set. Speed's live. 80 knots. Cross check. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Four hundred. One thousand. How to break off? Gears locked. Climb power set. Bring that nose down. One ninety, let's go flaps one. When we turn off some taxi lights coming off. Two twenty, we're going clean. Six thousand feet standard barometric pressure. Eric, what's up, dude? Big boy toys, man. Big boy toys now. Cool. Autopilot's going on. Sweet. Cool. We can bump this back over to legs page. Um, we're direct. Victor November. Victor. Thoughts on the Flight Factor 7 8. Excited. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good, man. Clouds on the ortho. Fresh air vent in the panel just above your head, and we'd like to remind you that this is a strictly non-smoking flight, 
Best needs to make an FMC cam. An overlay. It says right up top, Airspace Aviation, man. I have, I have a pinned message there, buddy. RNSX, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. If you do a butter landing on Ryanair, you're fired. Hopefully you get a butter. All right, we're direct to Cardo now. Uh, is it a new thing in the Zevo? Nope, Emery, it's always been like that. What resolution of monitor do I have? 1920 by 1080. Alrighty, guys. Uh, after takeoff checklist, which I should have done a while ago, flaps are up, gears are up, lights are off, engine mode selectors back to the off position, and we're coming up on some clouds here, so we'll just wait for us to... Uh, we'll just wait to get the... Um, Seatbelt signs off. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Fix him! What's up, Cap? Been a minute, dude. Good to see you, my friend. Hopefully all is well. Thank you very much for continued support, man. How are you? Nice profile picture. Looks like you're doing the real thing, my man. Good to see you, dude. You have flicker on your screen. Is it the clouds? The clouds flicker sometimes. Captain, Opar. here is something to help with when the price is released. No floaties. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Appreciate you, man. I, uh, yeah, I already, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be buying this, man. This is, uh, this is something that I'm getting behind 100%. 110% I will be behind this. I will be the face of this FMC. I, I, I hope, I hope we're not, like, $7.99, I feel like $7.99 is, like, the higher aspect of what I would be, like, kind of okay with paying for something like this. Um, but, to be fair, I said $6.99. That was my guess. So my guess before anything, before, like, when I, even when I looked at it, I said $6.99. So the fact that it's $7.99 means that I was definitely in the ballpark of what I thought it was going to cost. And like I said, I feel like I feel like if you go and you try and look for anything like this, one, you're not going to be able to find one. And two, if you do, it's going to be more expensive. So, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully your literal face will be on the box. <laughs> Do you imagine, man? Would pilots IRL fly with the prog page on? Um, I don't know if they would have legs or the prog page. We can do both. We can have the prog page on for you. Probably the progress page, to be honest with you. This kind of gives you everything, right? Gives you your wind, gives you your top of climb, gives you your fuel quantity, and it gives you your flight plan. So yeah, you're probably right. Probably would be on the prog page. You can actually cycle through all the progress pages as well. There's multiple um, RNP. Root waypoint, there's winds. So, yeah. Use a 1080p monitor and give you better performance. I'm from 1080p to 1440p, can't decide. Um, I just think 1080p is perfectly fine for, for you know, for, for flight sim. 1080p is perfectly fine, man. I can get down with that. Captain Canada branded flight sim hardware. Yeah. So another cool thing that I that I also um, I, let me just make sure that this doesn't show any uh, valuable information. Okay, it doesn't. So 
Um, I'm going to show you guys the the firmware that comes with it. So remember when I remember when I was saying that I, ha I downloaded a, a program, and there was just something. Um, there, there was a firmware that that came with it. So this is the firmware. So as soon as I downloaded it, and I uh, so, sorry, as soon as I got it, and I contacted him, and I said, hey, you know, uh, I've 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 got it. Here's here's what we're doing. Um, so he, they basically wrapped this up, they sent it to me in a package, and this is exactly what you get. So this is running on my second monitor. Um, this needs to be running in whatever sim you're in. This needs to be running. Um, as you can see, I told you that it auto connects and it does everything. So it shows me that, you know, we're on x uh, version 11.53 R1, release one. That's the x version we're on. Um, it shows the aircraft that we're simulating, so the 737-800X by Zebo Mod. Uh, it shows the software version. Um, it shows that the device is connected. We are connected, and it shows the firmware. Now, one thing, one thing, cockpit simulator. Oh, did I? Sorry. Um, the one cool thing um, about what you get to do is, let's say that you want to fly on the right-hand side, okay? Let's say you want to fly... You, you you woke up today and you decided I want to fly I want to fly out of the out of the co-pilot you literally click on this and boom I can select the seat the right side CDU so I'll have all the options of let's say flying on the right hand side so I don't know what it does I'm not a real world pilot I, I can't really tell you what it does but um, you can you can choose between left or right so I found that was really really cool so we may take a look at that one day as well um, and then obviously you've got the device test. You can you can test the device, um, and then you've got the firmware update, which I'm not going to click on because I don't want to do that right now. But yeah, so that's the little software that comes with it. Th that's it. That's how easy it was. Again, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to. Um, uh, I, I didn't have to point the software in any direction. It picked up everything, and and it just simply populated it, and we were we were good to go. So that's it. Yeah. So it's pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. It is literally plug and play. Yes, absolutely. And and to me, Captain Lee, that is just amazing. The fact that we've got that offered, you know what I mean? It's just a plug and play. Absolutely amazing absolutely amazing Cap Bosnia, I'm doing well man, good to see you dude uh, everything is running great man everything is running perfect um, it, it's it's insane man it's, it's, it's almost surreal that like we're reaching this level in the simulators, man. Like, it's just crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. And crazy the fact that I have this right here on my desk. Not even on my on my literal keyboard stand and the way that I have it set up. Just amazing, man. Amazing. Got everything. What about an overhead panel? One day, man. I am proud to have gave you ATS in Lebel and Leamed XD. Have good flights. Sweet. Thanks, Revan. Appreciate you, man. Huge love floaties to you. Thank you, thank you. Are the buttons as satisfying as uh, mechanical keyboard? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. How much of a hit does this have on your CPU? Zero, Greg. Absolutely zero. Absolutely zero. It's it's basically basically the way your computer like the way that it plugs into your computer, it's just like um it's just like a keyboard. It's pretty much how it's plugged into your computer. So it's like having a second keyboard, if you will. Like, that's as much as, you know, that's as much, Greg, as it takes. Cloud flickering bothers you? Yeah, I, I tend to not look at it. Try to avoid it.
Can't turn on autopilot? Weird. <laughs> Absolutely cutters. Yeah. That's that zoom level 17 down there breaking through. Right there. I got the Alps all done in zoom level 17. What would be cool is an autopilot panel. I'm pretty sure you can get autopilot panels out. There's been autopilot panels out for a while. Pretty sure Real Sim Gear makes a 737 one or a replica or something like that. Real Sim Gear makes good stuff as well. Yeah, I agree, Sonny. I agree, Travis. Yes. Well, Travis, like, I was trying to think of what flight I wanted to do today, and I was like, well, let's do a real-world route, you know? So we're doing a real-world route, and I was like, oh, this is perfect, you know? What do the buttons feel like? Um very clicky very realistic um when i was in the simulator um in toronto last year they have the they have the um the replica and it was very similar to that yeah maybe nick we'll see we'll see dude we will see man Uh, the button synthetic rubber or plastic? They're rubber. Rubber with like a plastic membrane. They're very nice to push. Um, kind of reminds me of like um, like a pin pad, but like way more clicky. You know what I mean? I love the backlight as well. And I also love the fact that um, you've got your message. So you've got your call and your fail on this side. And you've got your message over here which actually do light up. So if we were to get a fail or something, um, they would light up in red or a call or a message on this side or an offset, I believe is what it is. It'll pop up on here. So those work as well. And of course, I've showed you, you can turn the brightness all the way up, turn the brightness all the way down. The brightness turns it off completely. I usually run it about halfway. Only reason you want to be in a hold, to use the FMC more. Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. You get a picture of this right here? This is just beautiful. Hold on, pause. Beautiful. CPT that FMC is giving me a fill in the blank. So realistic. <laughs> Thanks for support. Appreciate you, Garrett. Hopefully you're doing well, man. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Partial flyby. Yeah, we'll get another one. Spicy Ryanair. Uh, Smixy, how much did this cost me? Uh, I am not at liberty to say. Sorry. Mr. Baldo, take care, dude. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Ryanair again? Uh, yeah. We're flying in Europe, and we're flying a 737. That we don't have very many options. Ryanair. Well, who are other big operators of the 737 in Europe? We got Tui Jet. 
Tweed Jet, definitely. Take care, Mopar. Appreciate you, man. Will it be compatible with the Series X when Microsoft Flight Simulator comes out with it? Uh, this? Probably not. Probably not. KLM, okay. Jet 2, okay. Lux Air, okay, yeah. Europa does, yeah. <laughs> Garrett. Aer Lingus doesn't have 737s, no. TY UK, Belgium, and Netherlands do, okay. Turkish Airlines operates 7.3s, really? I thought they were Airbus. Polish Airlines, okay. No, Scan does Scandinavian still have 7.3s? Prime Air, oh boy. Not really, Zaid. fly Aeroflot? We flew Aeroflot uh, a couple weeks ago. Transavia. Yeah, Norwegian operates them, yeah. Huh. Very cool, Finley. I didn't know that. Better game, that's what you do. Exclamation point, Matar, and then the airport. EasyJet did a long time. Yeah, EasyJet had like 300s and 400s, didn't they? on the menu today it's lunchtime I don't know an overhead panel if someone came out with one? Oh man, I don't know, dude. I don't have room for that. Does TNT still fly? I don't know. Good question. I really don't know. Ryanair, $10 for pretzels. They charge for everything, don't they? Do you get complimentary, uh, complimentary water on Ryanair or no? Is water off the menu as well? Ryanair? Damn.
Xavier, what's going on, man? Listen, Xavier, when all of this pandemic ends and you're allowed to have people back with you, promise me I'll drive to wherever you are, where you find out of. Listen, let's go, Xavier. Would love it, man. I'll bring the GoPros. We'll make a movie. Water is free, but you got to pay for the cup. <laughs> Dude, man, crazy. That's a cool job, Xavier. Seriously, man. Like, if I was flying, that's what I would want to do, dude. I think some of the TNT planes still fly, but they formed ASL Airlines. Got you. Doing a bit late. How's the CDU so far? Looks awesome. Uh, in the camera. It's so cool, dude. So cool. The fact that we have this in the sim is just mind-blowing, man. Mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing, dude. Still gotta pinch myself to, you know, remind me that it's real. By Trump 727. What did he downgrade from his 75? Drop on the $20 no-no. -no. Thanks so much, Chris. Appreciate you, man. Neutral floaties too, Chris. Thank you very, very much, man. Appreciate you, dude. Titans retired boomer belt for the FMC purchase next month. <laughs> Look at Schmitty, man. Is it, is it... Is it funny, Schmitty, that I'm, like, actually visually picturing you? <laughs> is, it, is it bad that I'm, like, physically picturing you standing there doing this right now? Like... <laughs> I can see you doing it. <laughs> With the Schmitty look on his face, looking around all wide-eyed. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's too funny. I, 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 I know that look. I know that look. I know that look.
<laughs> yeah, we know that look, Yeti. We've seen that look before. <laughs> hey, Cap, what's the command for Nightbot to add the Metar command? Uh, for the Metar, oh, how do you add it? Uh, I'm not sure, Beta. You'd have to talk to Dan about that. Dan's the whiz behind all those. I'm just a streamer noob. I'm just the... I'm just the t I'm just the, the talent. <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to do anything. Dan uh, Dan was the mastermind behind adding all of that. Pilot Garrett, thanks for your support, man. Welcome into First Class, my good sir. Appreciate you being here, man. Huge no floaties to you. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hope you enjoy it. building up that custom rank in chat. And of course, getting access to all 21 of those custom emojis. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you, dude. Can't wait to get a PC for your birthday. Sweet. Basically, if something doesn't... Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's always Dan's fault. Well, there, I mean, if something good happened, I take the credit for it. If something bad or weird or... Yeah, Dan's fault. Dan's fault. Do you even know I wasn't a member? Let's go! There we go, man. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. That ortho down there is beautiful. It's weird. We must have, like, um... I'm not getting that in... Which one is that? A goto. A goto is like super far away. Yeah, what is that? Okay, we're gonna delete that. We're gonna delete a goto. And then we'll put in Nenik. And then execute that. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's why it was giving us a reserve fuel. Now if we go to prog. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's why it wasn't giving us, like it was saying our fuel was going to be... So there we go. Now we're planning for 3.4 on arrival. Um, 350 miles to the top of descent. That makes much more sense. Um, we can also go to our init ref, and we can go to our index page, and we can go to performance, and we can actually increase our cost index to like 35. And we can execute that. Might bring our cruise speed up just a little bit. Doesn't even look so, so let's go 55. There we go, Mach 0.78 at 55, so we'll do that. Pull the Metar off? How do you do that, Schmitty? Do I go to menu? Menu, and then what do I click on? I don't I don't know if I've ever pulled the uh pulled the Metar from here. If it could print? Yeah, we could probably get a little printer and make it, but yeah. You showed me last night and I already forgot because I was very special.
We tried D-Link? I haven't. No. Happens. Like when you press D link, CP, DLC, or AOC, we go AOC, um, requests, oh, weather requests. Okay. Uh, weather type. Sure. Can I put in like EGFF in here? Okay. That works. Send. Okay. Message. Would you look at that? Well, that's pretty damn cool. Wow. Huh. Winds are three zero zero at eight knots. Altimeter one zero zero six. Damn. That's pretty cool. So it's even popping up on this, which is crazy. So it's got everything on here, including the time. Dude, this thing's gnarly, man. So you can just go request, yeah, okay. That's so crazy, man. Eight cars many. What is like the pre-flight menu? Oh, nothing of that works. Okay. So what's CPDLC? Does that not work yet? I guess nothing opens. Crazy, man. Crazy. <clears throat> Does it work like it should? Everything is working exactly how it should, man. Yeah, it's it's absolutely insane, dude. It's absolutely insane. Like, I mean. The fact that, like, it's just, like, real time. You know, like, it's fucking... Pardon my French. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. Not fully functional? Got you. For an offline simmer, is X-Life Deluxe worth it? I have no clue. I don't own it. Jay, I'm not sure, dude. Gameplay, what's up, man? Blue, how are you, dude? Good to see you, man. I am enjoying it, yes. Very much. Very much so, my friend. Gotta order a pizza on that thing. <laughs> I mean, like, I wonder if I can, like... Give you the angle of I'll give you that angle for a while. Cap on their website, it's saying $15. What's $15? Hey, Cap, hope you're well. Uh, we'll use the... Uh, will this use the MiG? No, this is only for certain aircraft and for Boeing. Scott, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Appreciate you stopping by. papers do I use? Zigzag Organic Hemp.
Yeah, that's not, uh... That's probably the stand. <laughs> that's probably the stand. <laughs> now it actually takes to the thing. Yeah, obviously, uh, obviously a misprint. It's definitely not $15, guys. <laughs> Are you on 3.48 for the Zebo? Yes. So it says $15. No, I know. It's obviously a, a typo or they're just testing something out. I can confirm that's not the actual cost. I've linked the long the wrong Madrid in the description. What do you mean? Speaking of which, that shouldn't even be there anymore. have one Madrid scenery. Two Madrids? Interesting. Okay. Might have been. Anyways, it's gone. The link's gone. Apologies. I got a problem with the auto land in the Zebo. The aircraft usually bounces, and then I get a very hard landing. Any solutions? No. I don't know what could be causing that. Sorry, man. Don't use auto land. Yeah, I'm getting on P3D. I see that uh, the FM is uh, so it is extra. Yeah.
Um, yeah, sorry, I'm here, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, every, everybody involved with the party, Jonathan, I believe is, everybody that's in the development, is, is I believe, is from China. I think it's like 3.30 in the morning right now. Yeah, they're 12 hours ahead of me, so it's 3.30 in the morning right now. Um, so they're definitely not up. Definitely not up right now. Do I smell a Malona bar? Mm. Dude, they're so good. What playlist is this? Um, it's just a playlist on uh, epidemicsounds.com that I put together. I don't think it's an actual playlist. It's just a bunch of songs that I have put together. They only ship to Asia? No, worldwide. I don't color correct them, no. Um, a lot of my ortho, Daniel... A lot of my ortho is like, dude, this ortho that we're looking at right here is like years and years old. Yeah, I was like one of the first, like, believe it or not, like, I was one of the first people to like fully load up my sim with ortho, man. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, Schmitty, maybe. some burning lion air lasagna in the seat next to me help let's try an air serve lasagna oh boy is there a link for the cdu not yet paul soon 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 journey what does it say right up top on the screen Jenny? there's literally a, a pinned message that you would see if you just jumped into the chat or if you've been here forever there's a pinned message right on top of the screen No, I'm not quite sure why the... I don't... Who even put... Let me just... If I had to take a guess, how much would it be between six ninety nine and seven ninety nine? Was my guess seven to eight hundred dollars, probably six to eight hundred was my guess originally. Uh, Jemmy, and I haven't yet. No. Yeah, because the website shouldn't be open. That's why I removed the command. I'm not I'm not sure who put the website there. <clears throat> I removed the command because the website's not open yet. The website, I don't believe, should be... Uh, they must be just testing it or doing something. Right here sells lottery tickets and scratch cards. Are you serious? Really?
Thanks, Lee. That's my favorite plane to fly an X plane. Probably the Zebo, the 7.5. The Zebo or the 7.5, probably right now. I think it switches, man. I think it switches a lot. Money from the lottery and scratch card goes to charity, though. Okay, well, that's good. At least they're not pocketing it. You have the link for the CDU? Uh, what do you mean, pledge? Like, you have the link from that, what we've been providing with people? Is that what you're saying? You copied the link that we had up for everybody to see? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Would you like... It's on Amazon. Yeah, I think that was before they've they've decided to like move forward with like a an actual like company and everything. You can order it on Amazon if you want, sure. But like I said, they're gonna have like an actual website and all that stuff here soon, momentarily. FMC looks so real from that cam angle. Actually, all angles. It's crazy, man. <coughs> this thing's wild, dude. Absolutely wild. Sorry guys, <clears throat> just firing off an email quickly. 
Boom. I'll let you know soon. Um, that FMC easy to use. I mean, if you're familiar with, with using a 737 FMC in the sim, then yep. It's easy to use, man. Turn the brightness down a little bit. You guys can see the actual purple. Can we get an impromptu direct two from Paris Center uh, to show how it works? Um, yeah, what can we do? Let's see, what do we got lined up here? Go to, um, turn the brightness up a little bit. Okay, we'll go to our legs page, and what do we got? We got, let's say they're giving us direct, uh, Salco. So we would select Salco here, I'll go on this side. We would select Salco. That's gonna populate Salco down here. And then we go to the top and select it on Menic. And then it's going to ask me to execute that. So we're going to come over here and we're going to execute it. And the aircraft is now going to go direct Salco. Now, we just did that. It's basically a straight line. That's why I did that. So it's essentially a straight line to Salco. So, yeah, that's why we did that. So there you go. And now we're direct Salco. And we can go back to our progress page. And you can see all the information still. We're planning 3.3 tons of fuel. Um, top of descent is still showing 165 nautical miles. Uh, our winds are showing 263 at 35. And again, if we want to go back, let's say we want to go to our... Um, we want to get the ATIS for uh, Cardiff. We would go menu. And um, we would select D-Link. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go AOC. And then we're gonna go with requests. And we're gonna go weather requests. And we're gonna go EGFF, which is what we've already selected. And we'll go send. All right, and then that's gonna send it off. And there we go, we've got our message. And we'll go ahead and select that. And there you go. We now have the ATIS in uh, Cardiff which is winds are 330 at six knots. Um, 300 variable to uh, 300 variable to 010. Um, few clouds at 3600. It is 10 degrees on the temperature and our Q&H is 1006. And there you go. And then you can just hit return, return, return. And we'll go back to the progress page. And there you go. There's our progress page showing 153 miles till top of descent. progress cage can you show a knit ref to show the number I don't think so Robbie what's up man good to see you um it says right up at the top Robbie <coughs> not sure yet bud 
you haven't done so yes, that's right guys, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. Be very much appreciated, my friends. Hopefully we've hit over 300 likes, that would be awesome. How long till top of descent? 141 nautical miles. This is right here. It says 2 TD and then 139. Yep. That's, I mean, they've done it well, in my opinion. They've done it well. Look exactly like a real 737 FMC, and that's completely awesome. I agree. Yep. It is a one to one replica, man. Very cool. Once level up comes out, will you switch completely or will you still fly the Zebo? Still fly the Zebo, man, for sure. Can you do a flyby? Sure. What flight sim is the most players on VATSIM? I have no clue, dude. Probably P3D. Fog in the pit! I'm trying to get like... It's tough to get angles. It's a pretty good one though. physical FMC it is I can physically touch it ooh ah mm. yes physically touching it Harley thanks for support appreciate you my friend glad you're enjoying the content Yeah, I agree, Dan. Yep. I would wait for that one. Nothing to see here, Schmitty. Nothing to see. Someone clip that and make it out of context. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Jonas. Take care, Fred. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you, dude. You should do an ad for the FMC. This is one big ad for the FMC, man. This whole week coming up when we're going to be streaming it is one whole ad. Ryan, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Hopefully your exams went well. Why does the engine come flat at 737? This is the CFM 56, man. You ever seen how low a 737 is to the ground? It's not good, Arthur. Go be with her, my friend. Probably can't right now with COVID, but...
wonder if I could, um, I wonder if I could go higher. Give me a second. Let me try and... I was wondering if I would like... Well, that's not bad. I can almost fit it into the full screen right there like that. That's not bad at all. Would you guys rather that view? That view and then I can kind of... Uh, I'll just very easily... Can you guys see that? Is that good? Is that a good view or do you guys want it from the angle from the side pointing in like that? Drive design 330? Eh. It would wait. Does it come with a case? Uh, yeah, you get everything that you see here. So there's a stand behind it that it's on as well. <coughs> Yeah, your hand. Yeah, that that's the problem. Is the hand covers all the keys. Sean, stop! No. Do you have X and Viral? I do not. No. Sorry. Luca, what's up, man? Good to see you back. Hope you're doing well. Antenna Dad, nope, this is a completely new company. It's good, Arthur. Boy Borman, what's up, man? Um C2A. With the amount of miles I've flown on Sky Waitress Airlines, I should get one of these installed on my headboard. <laughs> Jesus, man. You're crazy, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Um, Cockpit Simulator is the is the company that's making it, boy. Um, I'll have more information, obviously, as, as, as it comes to me. It's still very, very new product.
Is it hard to set up the FMC? Not at all. Not at all, man. Very much just a plug and play. Does it load regular air act cycles? So basically, what it's doing, Robbie, is it's just mimicking like the screen in the game, right? So. Um, like if you if you do your air act in the sim, it's gonna do it in the FMC. Like the FMC is just running off of like your sim. So yeah, so like there's no air act. Like you wouldn't have to update the air act manually. Top of the scent, 56 miles, guys. Can you use it with Airbus? Not this one, no. This is specifically designed for the 737. Fly over Slovakia? Not sure, Michael. Not sure, man. Fezzo says on top, man. Is there one for the Airbus? Not yet, no. Used with the 7.5 or only the 7.3. So right now it's compatible with the uh, Zebo Mod 7.37, the IXEG 7.33. It's compatible with FSX and P3D for I believe the um, 7.37 by PMDG, the triple seven by PMDG, and the 7.47 by PMDG. I believe is what it is. Uh, what you can use it on. Yes, where you get the CDU from? Not yet, man. I'll be able to provide all the information sooner than later, man.
wonder what other products will make. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this is something that's going to work for the Xbox. Alrighty, friends, we're showing 25 miles till top of descent. So let's go ahead and jump inside the cockpit here. Uh, we're going to reset our altitude. Take this down to uh, 5,000 feet initially, and we'll open up some charts here in a sec. All right, so 5,000 is in. All right. ILS three zero. We need a frequency of one 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 point zero. Chanting World England Mapper. Welcome. Thank you for the support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Very very kind. One one zero point seven zero. Let me flip that up there. Good. And we need a front course of two ninety seven. Cool. And if we want to go back here, we can go to our menu. And we'll go to the FMC menu. And uh, oops, sorry, we'll go to index, menu, my bad. We want D-Link, and then we'll go to AOC, and we'll do our requests, and then messages, and we can remind ourselves uh, the Q&H 1006. So we can just set that. We won't turn it in now, but we'll just set 1006. So we can remember that. Cool. So 1006 is set. Wonderful. Cool. Return, return, return. Go to progress. 10 miles till top of descent. Looking good. Aerosaur, what's up, man? Yeah, that I think $600 is going to be on the cheap end, man. I, I honestly, I'd be prepared to spend more than that, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Whiskey Tango. Maybe, man. Maybe. Like the old Blackberry phones. <laughs> A little bit more advanced than that, but sure. <laughs> I get what you mean. All right, and there we go. Top of descent. Sweet, there we go, friends. Making our descent into Cardiff. I'm gonna make it a little bit later. I wanted it to be like sunset as we were coming in. There we go. That should get us. I know it's probably nighttime now, but. Do you know where they produce it? Uh, China. Manufactured, designed, manufactured, developed in China.
Sunset Landing gives us good vibes? Absolutely. Transition altitude, 6,000 feet. Um, we're going to be on the ILS, so our decision height is 200. There we go. Yeah, for those of you that are saying, like, you can find this on eBay and stuff like that, you know what, like, I'm pretty sure, like, this company has been trying to, like, push this and sell this, and that's why they've decided to go with the approach of actually making a website and, and are seeking out reputable content creators and stuff to showcase this content. I'm pretty sure that's why they're, they're, they're taking this road and this approach. Um, so, like I said, if, if you're one of those people that can't wait and you want to go and buy it, sure, man, you can be the guinea pig, go and buy it on eBay, let us know how it worked for you. Um, and then I would rather just wait and, and then, you know, they're going to provide us with a website. They're going to provide me with a link, an affiliate link. Um, I would just be waiting for those things if I were you. Um, even if you can save like 5%, you know what I mean? Like, hey, use the code Captain Canada, save 5%. Hey, man, off a couple hundred bucks, 5%, you know, that that's not, you know, that's still something, right? So I would just wait, man. That's just my opinion. We're going to auto break three. Very short runway here. How short is it, actually? Yeah, 7,700 feet. Been airborne for an hour and 26 minutes. Did you make a full uh, home cockpit? Probably not, but who knows, man. Who knows? I guess eBay is better than Craigslist. Yeah, maybe. No, I know, Pokey. So, I should cancel my wish.com order? <laughs> this guy, man. Out of control. Thank you for the support, dude. I appreciate you. <laughs> yes, you should cancel your wish.com order. You madman. I swear to God, dude. <laughs> this guy's too much, bro. Too much, man. <laughs> You're crazy, dude. What about this to legs? And you can see here, we're on map, and then we switch it. You can see the bottom of the FMC. You can actually see how it moves to the step page. We're just going to bring this down here. We're going to actually step through the flight plan. Um, so you can see what it's doing there. So we'll actually, um, from Titan? No, from... From Exmoor, we'll end up vectoring ourselves. Yeah. Just turn our weather radar on in case we haven't learned anything. Hey Dan, can you just read the top of the uh, the top of the stream for me, man? Right in the chat box, Dan. Just read up top what it says right up there for me, buddy. I have to hype to get the sponsor? <laughs> buddy, I'm paying for this just like everybody else. Very kind of you to think that I get all my stuff for free, but as a matter of fact, I pay for a lot of my stuff as well, buddy. 
So yeah, I, I, I'm paying for this just like everybody else. So that way, you know what? I'm kind of glad because that way it really does keep my, my, my attention for it and my, my reactions for it genuine. So. Connor, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Um, travel. If you can show me one that's that's plug and play, fully developed for um, it's uh. Yeah, if you can show me like a plug and play that's available, I'm all ears, man. I haven't seen anything that's that's been uh, that's been available. close cross yesterday dude the weather's insane the weather almost took us out twice yesterday wild captain bob doing well man uh, it's amazing so far dude absolutely amazing on stream labs it has mopar ahead of tom really does it okay I'll have to take a look. Are there more flights today? Nope. This is the only flight, Dan. Sorry, man. Weather radar is on, yes. That's a Frankfurt is warmer than Poland. Dude, it was crazy. It was warmer here the other day than it was when we were landing in LAX. Wild. Crazy weather, man. Nah, 6,000 feet, Mark. I don't know why it's doing that. Ah, uh, Matias, you're going to have to hold off until like the first week of May. Until I can provide you with a link for it. Next step is a full motion cockpit in your living room. I don't know, man. Absolutely, Daniel. That's exactly it, man. Future plans for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, what do you mean future plans? Like, when will we be back in it? Uh, probably a couple weeks, man. We'll be back in Microsoft Flight Sim. Take a little bit of a break. Fly x plane for a while. If you don't butter, you have to send the FMC back. <laughs> not sure if you answered this, but when you were back in the A300, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Captain Sim. We're going to be spending a week or two here flying uh, the 737, obviously. Any idea what lead times will be? I have no clue, Jetstar. I have no clue, man. Hopefully, within like the next week, I'll be able to start, you know, getting that information to you. Again, brand new company, right? Brand new company. And no, with the FMC? Oh, as soon as, like, I mean, as soon as they get some aircraft that are available. Um, again, right now, it works for PMDG. Um, it works with P3D and FSX. 
uh, with the PMDG 737, 777, and 747. So it works with all three of those aircraft, and in X-Plane it works with the Zebo and the IXCG, like I said. So, um, I'm not sure what their plan is moving forward with Microsoft Flight Simulator. It says that they will be supporting the simulator. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what their plan is, but... So I don't know if you guys can see that this message light actually lit up here in the sim. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll kind of block it off for you. We can actually see that the message light lights up here on the right hand side, which again, I thought was really, really cool. Um, and as you can see, it popped up here that drag is required. So all the messages that are getting put down in through here are being populated right here on the screen. Um, again, like there's no, there's no delay. Uh, which again is just so damn cool. So 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 damn cool You need to try this with the IXCG absolutely Captain Clowns. Yeah, man, we'll fly the IXCG. Do not worry my friend Hey, man, Dan that FMC looks awesome. Hope they make a mic do in the Airbus. There is plans. I believe I was speaking with them uh, last night, Ryan um, There is plans to introduce a, a mic do for the Airbus as well. So We'll see how that goes man. Not sure if you can confirm, but is this from Ajik? Uh, that's not who I have, no. Uh, but then again, I don't know. I don't know right now, man. Um, the people that I'm dealing with apparently are um, like the distributors. That's not the actual company, the actual, the actual people that are making the FMC. I'm not dealing with them. I'm dealing with the distributor and the marketing team. Um, so it's not, yeah, I don't know, man. Like I said, I think what happened was I think that these guys basically went into this together and they were like, okay, like, you know, maybe we can make this happen and maybe they weren't seeing sales or they weren't getting any recognition that they thought that was deserved. So they decided to go to a marketing team or a marketing firm and then this marketing firm is reaching out to content creators. Like I said, I have no clue if I'm the only one they've contacted. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. They, I'm, I'm sure they've contacted other content creators. Maybe I'm just the first one to set something up and agree with them on something, you know? So, I don't know. All right, we're gonna go on some Victor Vectors here. Let's take a right turn 080 and we're gonna go down to, uh, it says intercept at 2200 feet. So I'm gonna actually pause our music. I'm gonna turn our sim up here. Um, 6,000 feet, so we need to go standard, 1006, good. So 2,200 feet is what it's asking for. Oh, it's probably amazing at night. Even just the way that it's lit up right now, it, it kind of sucks that, like, I can kind of block the light. But even the way that it's just lit up right now, it's so nice. It's so nice. It has the same glow as, like, right now. It's, it's lit up almost identical, identical to this glow, this kind of like yellow, it's, it's exactly how it looks right now, exactly how it looks. Okay, we're going to go to our NITREF page here, we need to select our landing, uh, we do want our glide slope on, so that's good, we're doing a flaps 30 uh, approach today, so we'll select that guy here, it's going to populate uh, down here, and then we're going to select that into our flap and speed, so we're doing flaps 30 uh, with an approach speed of 145, so that's all looking good there. Um, and our frequencies are all plugged in. That should be good. I'm going to take this out just so that we can do a, a nice, do a nice little, uh, we're a little bit high up on the approach. We're 220. Sassy, if you could just read the top of the screen, my friend. Right. Find a down leg. Timer is correct. It says two minutes until landing. Yep. It's probably going to go up because we're going away from the airport right now. No worries, Sassy. I had to put it up there just because so many people were asking, man. 
Okay, let's make a left turn. Two tens in. that turn going. Three ten and alarm approach. Thousand to go. Thank you. Let's go flaps one. We're 10 miles, bring our speed back 190 knots. Let's go flaps five degrees. Auto brake is set. We're gonna arm our spoilers. Good. Good, armed with the green light. Cool. Looking good, friends. Um, start bringing that speed back 170 knots till five miles. Glide slope's coming alive. Eight mile final, let's drop our gear. We'll go flaps 15. Just glide slope, seven miles. Thanks. So our lights are on. All right, everything looks good on our big dues. Our FMC, we're looking good. 145 is in. We're going to aim for about 149 on the approach. There's five and a half. Let's bring that back to 149. Let's go flaps 25. And 160, we're going flaps 30, which will be our landing flaps. All right, cool. Landing checklist gears down, three green. Flaps are 30 and indicated. Spoilers are armed with a green light. Cabin crew has been advised. Auto brake is set. All of our lights are on. Engines over to continuous. Relight. Looking good, friends. It's going to be my airplane. Enjoy the arrival, guys. like flying into this airport. It's got a really cool approach. This is the Orbex, by the way. 
get too high on that slope. There we go, much better. 500. Checked. 400. Three approaching minimums. Two minimums. Continue. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Oh my lord, we almost... <laughs> we almost big time Ryanair that. We almost kerplunked. 80 knots. 60, still in them. Jesus. Could have been a little violent. All right, auto brakes off. Welcome. Got the Ryanair music playing. You see the FMC resets itself. Back over to the legs page, everything's empty. My goodness, me. Close but still a butter, yeah. Very close to smashy smash. She, like, uh, didn't have enough pull. I was like, oh, what? Oh. All right, we're vacating to the right here, friends. Cool. Everybody, welcome. Landing lights coming off. Strobe lights coming off. Wing lights coming off. Let's stop our clock. One hour and 46 minutes. Flaps. Spoilers. Let's go clean. Weather radar can come off. Beautiful. Cool. We made it. Congrats, you've been fired from Ryanair. <laughs> oh, man. CCAP, great stream. I actually plan on going live again tonight. <laughs> We're doing another stream later tonight. Uh, we're doing a North American After Dark live stream, so somewhere probably around 8.30, 9 o'clock Eastern time tonight, I plan on going live. Um, probably going to be flying... Um, I don't even know what I'm going to fly, to be honest with you. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to fly, but uh, yeah. I think I got some ideas. Saw an FMC online for 700 USD. Look like this one. Probably this one. Um, like I said, I think there's been a little bit. I think these guys have been like looking for something, so... Uh, yeah. Looking for a partnership or something, so. Um, all right, APU spooling. Look good. Smooth landings aren't the Ryanair way. Hey, Doc. <laughs> Tucker, thanks for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, man. Very, very kind. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Prop. Not appreciate you, man. The after dark after the after the after dark stream. The after after dark stream. Yeah, I'm gonna make some dinner and then uh, and then we'll go live again. Thanks for support, Gary. Appreciate you, man. Good to have you here, dude. How about? Did you guys like this angle on the FMC? I feel like this angle is a little bit better. I just have to remember to like manipulate using like one finger. You know? Do you guys like this? Is this is this is this more preferred than the side angle? I feel like this gives you a little bit more. You guys can actually read the screen. I feel like it gives you a little bit more of a in-depth look. Because when you're on the side, you really can't read the screen. At least this way, it's going to allow you to read the screen. I'm going to put something, I think, here. I'm going to elevate this a little bit. Sweetie prefers the side view. Hmm. Plus six from tomorrow time, we'll be asleep at that time. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I personally like the first angle better, but I don't know about you guys. Okay, interesting. Welcome to Wales. Cool little airport, man. APU gens are on, bleeds are on. Oh, 
What am I gonna make? Um, I got some jumbo chicken wings I'm actually thinking of making in the air fryer. Yeah. Maybe season those bad boys up. I got some really good seasoning. Applewood smoke seasoning and stuff. Mm. Thinking about seasoning those up, throwing them in the air fryer. That would be good. I thought Flabby was coming back. All right, that should be good right about there. Cool. Park brake's coming on. Engine number one is coming off. Engine number two is coming off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Andre, unfortunately, we don't know the price quite yet. There's been speculation between $6.99 and $7.99 USD. So I would expect somewhere probably around there. Probably six to seven, eight hundred dollars US, man. It's not going to be cheap, dude. It's not going to be cheap. So that view gives you the whole thing. Schmitty just doesn't like looking at my bitten fingernails. Cool. So there we go. Beautiful. What a great flight. Let's toggle replay mode. We'll back this sucker up. We'll take a look at that arrival. Sweet flight. Had a lot of fun with that one. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hour 46 minutes. Flew by, man. That time flew by. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with that, Emma. Where Where is yours, Emma? I don't... I thought that it looked really weird. I was looking at the link. But the link should... I deleted the link. It should be gone, Emma. I don't know. Is the link still there? Where is the link? In the description? We're talking about for the last video. Oh my lord. <laughs> what a recovery, dude. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Hang on to your hats. We almost smash dabbed that one. Taco Tuesday, nice. Emma, just send me the link in uh, Discord and I'll fix it after the stream. As soon as it's done. Thank you. Oh, but do Talk about a recovery. Oh, spicy memes. Spicy. Oh, yeah, they didn't even do the... That's right, they didn't even do the camera properly. Um, spicy, dude. Uh, what can I do with this one, I guess? And we'll go over here with the tower view. Can you post the food, my food in the... Dis yeah, I can post it if I remember before I eat it. You know what the problem is? Um, the problem is I usually end up pledge is I usually end <laughs> I usually end up eating it before I can post it because I'm like ha this looks so good <laughs> you know what man I'm going to say x Wayne has been uh, x Wayne has been so beautiful lately man I've really enjoyed it almost a Ryanair one dude we almost let the cat out of the bag on that one <laughs> we would have hit the thousand footers though but oh my dear lord oh boy spicy dude Thing is, because I knew we couldn't float, so I was just like, okay, we got this, we got this. Oh, my Lord, we don't got this. We going to smash dab into that one. Well, everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for this After Dark live stream. I'm going to take this time now to thank all my mods, donators, and sponsors. Without you guys here, none of this would be possible. I, I seriously hope you guys, I know that it's an impromptu stream. Um, I know that we usually don't stream on Tuesdays, but I just wanted to take this time to thank you guys. I was so excited to get this out and, and to start putting out content for you guys to be able to see this. Um, listen, like I said, first and foremost, um, I'm paying for this product, okay? I would never endorse something if I thought it was, you know, out of control 
listen, I already know, first and foremost, this product is not going to be for everybody. And I understand that there's going to be some people in chat that are pissed off at me for promoting something that costs seven, eight, nine hundred dollars, whatever the price is going to be. Listen, you got to understand, it, it's not always, it's a, it's about the, the appeasing the market. And I, I, I know that there's a market and I know that there is value in this of the market. So, um, I'm just trying to do my part. I, I, I think that we've needed something like this for a long time. Um, the fact that we can now have this at home um, in my simulator, plugged into my computer, and it works like that is just absolutely amazing. Um, so I understand this is not going to be for everybody. I understand some people are going to be upset that they're not going to be able to afford this, and they think that it's absolutely ridiculous that something can cost hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Listen, you have to understand, flight simming is not a cheap hobby, and and, and these types of products are not cheap in itself. Um, this is something that I hope will last me for a long, long, long time. Um, again, it's a new company. Only time will tell. I'm definitely taking a little bit of a risk here. Um, again, from it being a new company. Um, but I really, truly think just dealing with who I've been dealing with and, and the experiences that, that I've had so far with the product um, is I truly think that this is something amazing. And I think that this is something very, 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 very cool. And I think that uh, a majority of us um, can manage our finances enough to maybe afford something like this. So, um, guys, thank you for coming to hang out. I really do appreciate you. Um, again, Dan, that, that, that's your opinion, dude. That's your opinion. If you can go and find me an FMC, Dan, that offers this is, is, is go ahead, man, go ahead, go ahead and find me something or better yet, Dan, how about you make something like this and you offer it at a better price. It's very easy to just sit here and say, oh, that's too expensive. I would never pay that. Okay, man, that's, that's, that's cool, dude. That's your opinion there's also hundreds of people that would pay this and, and, and are going to buy this. So you have to think about it both ways, man. I completely respect and I understand your opinion, but it's just one thing to just, it's okay, man. You keep your opinion to yourself. Okay. That's it. We don't need to, we don't need to see in chat over and over and over. The price is overkill. It's too expensive. FMC too expensive. It's okay, man. You're allowed to have your opinion, but that's cool. We don't need to hear it over and over and over, dude. There's, 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 there's plenty of, of, of people in here um, that are, we don't know the price yet. It's all speculation. Um, there are available. It looks like they do have some things up, uh, which are indicating that the prices are going to be $799. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, anyways, guys, thank you for coming to hang out. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed, uh, this little, um, uh, this first look at this beautiful FMC, uh, we're going to have tons of content here on the channel over the next week or so, uh, probably a little bit longer actually, because this works with two aircraft in, uh, in X-Plane right now. So, um, definitely going to have tons of content over here over the next week or two. Um, guys, thank you all very, very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Mods, donator, sponsors, you guys are awesome. Without you guys here, none of this is possible. So thank you guys. I really, really do appreciate that. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you all very, very much for your support. Guys, have yourself a wonderful evening to all my European friends. Hope you guys uh, have a great evening. Uh, for all my e, uh, sorry, for all my North American guys, we're going to be doing another After Dark live stream here in a couple hours. Um, so I'll go ahead and get that up here afterwards. Thank you guys for coming to hang out. I appreciate it. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you all for coming to hang out with me. Thank you all. Uh, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful um, evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it is. Look forward to bringing some more content to you guys here over the next week or so. Happy landings, my friends. Peace.